In the early 80s, a remarkable device emerged that would revolutionize the world of personal computing and bring the power of technology to the masses. It was the Timex Sinclair 1000, an ingenious creation that made computing accessible to everyone like never before. The TS-1000 was made available for the US market. In the UK it was known as the ZX81. The computer had several connectors on its side. The RF connector which connected the computer to a TV, air and mic connectors allowed users to save and load programs using a cassette recorder. The 9V connector provided power to the computer using a compatible power supply. On the back there was a switch. By tuning your television to the corresponding channel either 2 or 3, you could view the output from the Timex Sinclair 1000 on your TV screen. The TS-1000 featured a unique membrane keyboard. It was optimized for programming in BASIC. Each key had multiple functions. The cursor on the screen indicated which function was active. The K activated the keyword that was on top of the key, in exception of the numbers. After typing in the keyword, it automatically changed to an L, which allowed to write letters. By pressing the Shift key, you could access the characters and functions that were printed in red on the keyboard. Shift and the function key changed the cursor to the letter F which let you enter the keywords that were specified on the bottom of the key. And the last was the graphics mode, which could be activated by pressing shift and the graphics function. I wrote a short basic program that shows the available memory of the TS-1000. I have made a mistake in one of the lines of the code. To make a change you can press the shift key and the up-down arrow keys to locate the desired line and then press the edit function. Then you can locate the mistake and delete the unwanted characters by pressing SHIFT and the DELETE key. To execute the program, just press the R key which activates the RUN command. The last line shows that there are 2 kilobytes of RAM inside this machine. Let's open it up and see what's inside. The membrane keyboard is attached to the board, but I will leave it connected. TS-1000 is powered by a Zilog Z80 microprocessor running at 3.25 MHz. As we already saw earlier, it has 2 kilobytes of RAM. It is curious to mention that its British brother has only 1 kilobyte. The other chips are the basic ROM and the custom ULA chip, which unfortunately became a common source of failure in the device. I have created a repair video for the ZX81 where I successfully fixed a broken ULA. Let's hope this one will stay alive. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for my next video. I see you soon.